Hey guys, what's up? It's Exuperist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 7 of Kimi Toboku. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. <laughs> Wait, no, what? <laughs> we have a confession right away. Okay, we saw this girl in the opening. Okay, so this episode is going to be about Yuta. <laughs> oh. This is actually getting a lot more exciting. Ah, uh, that's very interesting. Now, there's one thi one thought that comes to mind uh, with all of this happening. I think unless that girl already knows how to differentiate between Yuta and Yuki, it's also possible that she mistook Yuta for Yuki. And if that's the case, uh, well, it's pretty natural. A lot of in the previous episodes, we saw a lot of girls actually fawning over Yuki, so it makes a lot of sense if they were going. To, that girl was actually trying to confess to Yuki instead of Yuta. But I love this, now we're focusing on Yuta, the only person I think, um, the only person so far that hasn't been focused on in the past six episodes. I mean, we already had one for Yuki, we had one for Kaname, we had one for Shun, we also had one for Tachibana, so Yuta is the only one who hasn't had an episode about himself. And apart from being one of the twins, Yuta doesn't really uh, stand out very much. So it's it's nice that we get to dig deeper into his character in this episode. <laughs> right. Shouldn't be the opposite way though. <laughs> they actually already do though. He already has a girl with him who likes him. Oh, wait, they're trying to bait Yuta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're trying to bait him. But he already knows that they know, so let's see the mind games going on. <laughs> what? They're, they're communicating telepathically? <laughs> okay. <笑>実は昨日さ、昨日国国国時点誰か俺のロッカーから持っていかなかった。ごじてん誰か勝手に持っていった。お前はバカだ。同じジュースじゃん。監督コップだと味が違う気がする。うん。氷の成果。ストロー
when you turn down a girl, right? Unless you're very desperate, you would you would just pounce on any girl that tries to get in a, into a relationship with you, right? But it depends if you have standards, I guess, or if you don't really like the girl. But then again, how would you know if you like the girl if you don't even have any experiences with her or if you haven't really spent time with each other, right? But there are instances, there are cases when just from the looks of it, a guy or a girl would turn down whoever confessed to them because they can't feel that spark. Maybe that's just one of the things that people factor into their decisions, but I'm not sure in this case. Uh, but yeah, there are cases. We can't be generalizing that, you know, anybody who gets, con uh, any guy who gets confessed to by any girl would just accept it right off the bat or without thinking about it, without considering it, because, you know, guys aren't really, well, we are simple, but we're not always that simple minded, right? We're not all brutish creatures who, who are only victims or prisoners to our own basal desires. So this thought, this thought I kind of disagree with, but uh, we don't know. Maybe Utah is just not in, just doesn't want to be into a, in a relationship right now. Because nobody has confessed to you. Exactly. Ooh. Okay, no, they're just piling on the, the, I guess, misunderstandings at this point. I don't think he actually accepted the confession. But then again, he's just being a bit mysterious and vague and amb ambiguous. Wait, did he actually accept? We don't know, we don't have too much information yet. I don't think he's actually keeping it a secret though. They're just not asking him directly. And okay. Okay, the fact that he's hiding it or isn't telling them, I think it's pretty reasonable. Yeah, and obviously he's pretty perceptive. I do get that though. He already knows that you're following him. Ah. <laughs> 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 Oh, Shun-Chin does know that he's Yuta. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, 
あんまり聞かないしでも私の方は好きだけど持ってる本全部好きなわけじゃないよ、mm, 思い出さないやつもいっぱいあるしそれに CD1 枚しかないからって悪いことなんてないと思う、うん、ごめんなんか私一人で。Okay, this is definitely a date, but I don't know if they're actually going out. And okay, the fact that he's not telling the other guys is pretty reasonable because, I mean, he's not really that open of a guy, right? I mean, there are some things that you keep from other people. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good suggestion. It is true, but. <laughs> no, it's not. The best way is to ask him directly. Are they? Are they really? Okay, now they're jumping into conclusions. Just ask him directly what their relationship actually is and why they're here, what they're doing. He's really good at deflecting. And of course, the twin brother would know a little bit more about that. What his older brother's actually thinking. Oh, that was a bit risky. Uh huh, okay, what, what made you confess to him though? When did she start liking him, too? That's her... They're coming back. Okay, what what is she thinking? Why is she pouting a lot when he when she's with him? Is she embarrassed? Oh, he's very sensitive. 
He feels the... Oh, wait, did... Oh, wait. Did they just dare her? Oh my gosh. Uh, so that's why. That's the very odd feeling that I had about that a while ago. Wait, what? Wait, wait, ugh. I'm a bit confused. Are they tricking her? Are they just teasing her? What are they doing? What the heck? Are they bullying her? Does she really like him? I, I don't even know. I can't figure it out. Just from... Well... I don't think she loves him. But, but she might be somewhat attracted to him. A little bit. But this... This is good development. Then they're not your friends if that's what's happening behind the scenes. Break away from them. Join this group. <laughs> like, like, just go with him. Well, you're not alone anymore. He's with you. He's dating you. But is that... Is that a really good price to pay? Is it worth it? You know? You have a few fun times with them, but then behind your back, they're talking smack and garbage and trash. I get where Yuta's coming from. That's solid advice. It's solid advice. I, and I wouldn't cut people off just from that. Just because of that, you know. I mean, if they're really friends, if they're true, genuine friends, I think we can bear both the good and the bad and the ugly, right? And we'll still accept each other. And... Yeah. She doesn't have to throw them away. She doesn't have to leave that friend group. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Aww. That's a missed opportunity. Fudarimbo <laughs> I hope their romance actually blossoms a little bit further down the road. 
お兄ちゃんこの年でぎっくり腰デビューするとこだったよ付き合ってあげるいいよ重いしいいじゃんデートデート同じジュースでも缶とコップだと味が違う気がする氷のせいかストローのせいか単なる気のせいかでも一番の原因はこの音のせいあ、she was going to give it back to him in person Okay, that was very interesting. I like the romance plot that very short-lived, but it was really it, it almost got there and almost got me skipping a beat, but it ended too soon, I think. But I I hope that their romance will actually blossom later on or maybe maybe that's just how this is going to go. I mean, it was it wasn't really genuine from the start. Although uh I, would, I wouldn't really have cared, even if it weren't that genuine, because they could have just developed their feelings for each other along the way. But I like this episode because we got to see a different side of Yuta, and we were able to have a little bit more insight on his character. He's a lot deeper than what we would think just by looking at him or just by his interactions with the other guys in the group. So. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun, and even though it was pretty short lived and pretty. It was a nice episode. That's all I can say about it. And yeah, I can't wait.、Uh, I'm, I'm quite excited. I'm not super hyped by this anime just yet, but you know, the progression is, is good. I mean, it's pretty slow, but we're getting there. <laughs> it's not as boring as it was in the first three episodes anymore, so. There's that going for it. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode and see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.